I have another flashlight I want to share with you today. This is the Claris XT12 GT Pro Tactical and Outdoor Flashlight. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this light, keep watching. Just before we get started, I want to thank Claris for sending out the XT12 GT Pro so that I could share it with you. As always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go through the light's key features, its physical and performance specification, its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll get outside and do some testing. Just before we focus in on the flashlight, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. Put the flashlight aside. So the light did arrive in this box. Nice box. All kinds of information on the outside, of course. Put that aside inside of the box something i don't see often with lights but appropriate for a tactical flashlight like this is a good belt holster and this is a good belt holster well designed and very robust to say the least it has two types of belt attachments depending on what type of belt you're putting it on and a d-ring on top put that aside little accessory bag with a lanyard and spare o-ring an adapter tube so that you can use an 18650 battery or two CR123 batteries. I'll talk about the battery that came with it in a moment. USB Type-C charging cable. And of course, a manual with warranty information as well. All right, let's bring the light back in. So let's go through a few of the key features for this light to start with. Its max lumen is 1600 on turbo, and that will provide an 850 meter throw. Yes, this is a throwing light. You can see by the, how deep the reflector and how polished it is that way. It has dual modes, tactical and outdoor. It has weapons mount mounting capability, so there are accessories you can purchase to go with this light to mount it to a weapon if you'd like. It has intelligent temperature control, so it's not an automatic step down from turbo at a given point. It is intelligently controlled so that it steps down as required depending on how hot it is actually getting. Something unique on a light like this is this right here, and this is a quarter inch 20 thread screw mount so that would be the type of thing you could screw on to a tripod like you would a camera and it comes with a full five-year warranty. Let's go over the physical specifications for this light now as always all of this information will be in the video description for your reference. Overall length 6.74 inches or 171 millimeters diameter at its widest quite wide up here 1.78 inches or 45 millimeters and the weight with the battery installed is 8.6 ounces or 244 grams it is quite a good size light as you can see now let's go through the performance specifications for this light so as mentioned it has a turbo with 1600 lumens that is uh, scheduled to last or is supposed to last two hours and 45 minutes. It has a high setting of 500 lumens lasting six hours, a medium of 100 lumens lasting 27 hours, and a low of 10 lumens lasting 288 hours. It does also have a strobe at the full 1600 lumens and an SOS at 100 lumens. It also has an impact resistance rating of one meter drop and a waterproof rating of IPX8. All right, just before we go through the operation of the XT12 GT Pro, I thought I'd give you a few close-ups. So let's start at the business end. You can see that nice, deep, polished reflector. And of course, that's what gives this light its long distance throw. You can also see quite pronounced crenellations around the basal, and that means this can be used as an impact weapon if necessary. So moving down the light, starting here, you can see where the quarter inch 20 thread mount is, like a camera mount. This can be mounted on a tripod. On the opposite side is the USB Type-C charging port underneath this quite thick rubber cover. It seems to be quite durable as well. I didn't mention this before, but it does come with a removable pocket clip. Probably not something I'd leave on the light while carrying it, but it's nice to have as an option. And then on the bottom end or the distant end are the two switches. So this has a primary switch, this tactile button in the center, and a lever kind of a switch on this side referred to as the mode switch. All right, now let's get into the operation. So as I mentioned when I opened up, one of the key features for this light is the fact that it has two operating modes or two settings. 
settings, if you will. It has a tactical setting and an outdoor setting. I have it set up in tactical setting right now. And when it's in the tactical setting, you only get access to two things. Number one, you get access to a strobe and that's uh, turned on by using the mode button. If I press it'll give me a strobe temporarily. If I want to lock the strobe on, I hold it down for in excess of two seconds and the strobe will stay locked on. Tap it again and it turns off. The primary button gives me instant access to turbo. If I partially depress it, it's a momentary on and off of turbo like that. If I want to lock turbo on, I fully depress and lock it on and again to turn it off. And that's all there is to the tactical settings. That good settings for sure. One thing I would like to have in a flashlight like this is the ability to go directly to a low setting for it. And I can do that, but I need to switch it over to the outdoor mode. So there is a mode switch process, which I'll demonstrate for you. Now, a little bit of a learning curve, at least for me, and that is just how long to hold the buttons down. So the directions say, put your finger on the mode button, hold it down for five seconds, and while holding it down, fully depress the primary button. What I found is it is a long five seconds. So when I do it, I count out six seconds just to be sure. So let me demonstrate. Move back a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Hold it down, one, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000, six, 1,000, and I'll press that the primary in, turn it off, and you can see when I press the mode button, I have the lowest lumen setting. Now I can move up through the lumen settings by turning the light on and holding down on or tapping the mode switch. I'm trying to make it so you can, there we go, that's probably better. I'm tapping the mode switch after turning the light on with the primary. And you can choose whatever lumen setting you want. If you turn it off again with the primary, then that memory will give you that setting. So I'd like to have it on low, but you can move it up or down through there as you wish. While on the outdoor mode, you and you also do have access to uh, SOS. To access SOS, you depress and have the primary switch uh, primary button pressed down and locked on and then press and hold the mode button and it will turn on the SOS for this light. We're doing some nighttime testing of the Claris XT12 GT Pro tactical flashlight which has of course an outdoor mode and that's what I have it set up in tonight so that I can show you the different lumen settings. So I'm starting off with low here. I'm reaching out 15-20 feet in front of us but at distance, even with its highly focused beam, I can reach across my yard, the neighbor's yard, and to the next neighbor's yard, but it is pretty low. Now, I'm going to turn the light up, but the way this light is working is that when I turn it up, it is going to go to the high mode and then run down. So it actually doesn't go up the lumen settings, it goes down. As you can see, that's a lot of light. That is seriously a lot of light. Highly focused, Still significant amount of flood on either side, but this reaches a long distance. It's probably not even doing justice for it here in my backyard. Let's take it down one level. Still a lot of light. And then down to the lowest again. So a lot of light even at the lowest, but it is that high level that is just so impressive reaches out such a long distance. All right, let's wrap up this video for the Claris XT GT12 Pro with a few more comments. So what is it the way I really like about this light? Well, when you saw, I got it outside, you can see just how long and clean a beam cast this has. At the same time, it does have that central hotspot, but still has a good amount of flood, so you're not gonna miss anything on either side. After that, I guess what I really like about it is the fact that I can switch it between tactical and outdoor mode. I'm not so much in need of a strobes, but I do like the fact that I can access the turbo right away, and you can do that the same between tactical and the outdoor mode. But in the outdoor mode, you have instant access to whatever lumen setting you want using the mode button itself. I have it set up for low, so I can access that immediately, or turbo. Those are the two choices that I like most about this. Now, the only thing I'll say, for me at least, was the learning curve trying to learn how to switch between 
uh, the settings tactical and outdoor. And as I explained, it has a long five second hold of that mode button before you press the primary. So once I caught on to that, and then of course it was an easy setting. Now the only other thing that this light does not have is an electronic lockout. For a lockout, the manual uh, suggests that you just quarter turn the battery case and that will disconnect the light. So it doesn't have an electronic lockout. Honestly, I don't see this being something that you're likely to turn on accidentally. You don't likely carry this in your pocket. It's a big light. You could carry it in your pocket, but more than often than not, I'd probably be carrying this in a holster. I think this would be a great light for a search and rescue person to use in addition to a headlamp. This would be the light that would reach out that long distance to see what's out there. Uh, tactical aspects of it, well, I can't speak too much to that anymore. I would use this as a police officer on patrol. I wouldn't have opportunity so much to use it as a weapon mounted light, but as a police officer, I would still be using this in the outdoor mode. The strobe is nice, but I would sooner have access to turbo and a low setting, so I wouldn't have to blind myself and then wa wash out my night vision. Okay, those are my thoughts on the Claris XT 12 GT Pro. If you have any comments that you would like to give me, please put them in the comments section below. All the information I have for you, including the links to where you can take another look at this, will be in the video description. All right, until next time, get outdoors and explore and take that path less traveled. It will make all the difference. Bye for now.